Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, uh, we're going to study about uh, the seven basic uh, quality control tools and out of those we'll study one of them which is the histogram. Okay, so the histogram is our first uh, quality tool. Histogram is a graphical display of data such that the characteristics is subdivided into the classes or cells or groups. Okay, so this is basically on the y axis shows the frequency of data. It basically on the y axis it will always show you the frequency of the data and uh, on the x axis it shows the different types of uh, categories of the data. So if you look at it, uh, that frequency can also be in the form of percentages when you are drawing uh, a histogram for a relative frequency histogram or you are drawing a cumulative frequency histo histogram. Okay. So you can have data in many forms. You can also have data in group forms like for example during the inspection of 42 and uh, plus minus internal diameter of tabletop quality inspectors took the following readings of 25 samples. So here we have count them you have a list of 25 samples and uh, they are being subdivided into uh, five classes okay so we can basically uh, these are the classes and this is the frequency of the data which is on the y axis and the class boundaries are the group bound groups are basically on the on the x axis and the other frequency is on the y axis so 42 43 uh, zone the frequency is 4 you can see this is the 42 43 zone uh, of the group data its frequency is 4 same similar 43 44 the frequency is 6 and so on okay so this is how basically uh, draw a simple histogram uh, okay now we will see that uh, for this histogram how can we plot a histogram on a on mini tab okay so if you look at it uh, this is our mini tab and in this mini tab uh, we are going to First of all, select uh, appropriate data, and uh, then we basically going to draw uh, a histogram. So in this, we we let us uh, check uh, and say that uh, we want to have a uh, fuel consumption of uh, of cars. Okay, so we can say, and the fuel consumption is in uh, kilometers per liter. Okay, so we can say fuel fuel consumption. fuel consumption of cars and we say it is in uh, kilometers per liter okay fuel consumptions of car in kilometer per liter we can just make it uh, liter okay so this is and we have to select uh, data we we do not have all the live data over here we can just approximate and see how basically to draw the histogram so we will say that we will select a random data and we want that random data to be most realistic so we can say it is a normally distributed data and uh, the number of rows that we want our data is say 20 uh, you can say 20 rows to be generated and uh, which say it is stored in the column c1 and uh, we can say let us say the mean uh, is say 10 and uh, the standard deviation we can say is say for example uh, 2 and see what happens how the histogram is being generated as of this normally distributed data so here it is here is uh, our nan normally distributed data that has been generated by the mini tab so now let's see and uh, with this uh, data how to construct a histogram okay so we go into the graphs and we ask for the histogram okay so we have many options we can draw the histogram with a fit we can draw a simple uh, let's start with a simple uh, histogram very simple histogram and uh, we just select it here we have selected it and uh, we see okay and this is our data fuel consumption okay and on the uh, labels uh, you can say uh, this is the uh, histogram you can say histogram histogram data of fuel consumption of cars 
okay. So, we say okay and let us uh, firstly develop a very simple histogram, okay. So, here it is our first uh, histogram has been generated, okay. And uh, we can see that uh, since it data has been given by the computer as a normal distributed data, it's missing over here in 12 and 13. And uh, with this data, if you look at it, uh, we have uh, here it is. Okay, so this is our data. And uh, if you look at it, uh, uh, it is uh, showing uh, the the groups of the fuel consumption cumulative per, per liter for the car on the x-axis and their relative and their frequencies are being shown on the y-axis okay so this is very simple now if we want uh, uh, if you look at it uh, from the uh, from this this gap from 11 to 13.5 uh, the, the, this gap if you look at it the data has not uh, we do not have this data over here if you look from 11.5 to somewhere like 13.5 uh, uh, we do not have the data here so if you think that uh, you can see we do not have any data so that is why it's showing the gap over here okay so that's not a big deal we just wanted to study it okay so this is a simple histogram if you want a relative frequency histogram created you can basically uh, go over here and there are many options for automatic if you want to change the position of your ticks number of ticks you can make it numbers you can take it and if you want uh, uh, the position of ticks you can just change everything from here okay so here it is the type and we basically convert it as a, a because you want a relative frequency histogram we can say it is as converted as percent okay so if you look now your data is being in uh, percentage okay the frequency has been converted to uh, percentages okay so this is what it is fuel consumption and this is their percentage in a simple way if you want further your data to be in in cumulative uh, frequency histogram you can further change it uh, if you look, uh, so here it is. If you go to the types and uh, if you like to accumulate value across the bins, okay, so it will be as a hundred percent. If you look at it here and it's being done, you see. Uh, so this is your uh, what is called as uh, cumulative uh, percent. And uh, remember that uh, when you cum uh, cumulate, uh, you should have a hundred percent, okay. So this is basically showing you a commutative relative uh, frequency of your data. So these are different types of data you can basically uh, kind of uh, basically make in your uh, Minitab and basically these are different forms of the uh, histogram. So I hope you, you like this uh, and uh, thank you very much.